day 43 for me. This is episode 41. Um, this outdoor portion of the program. Doing my outdoor walk like I usually do. And let's see. Did not go to bed as expected last night. But still got up on time. Made it to meeting early. Meeting went great. And where everything worked out. So that's huge. Um, even being sleep deprived, but nevertheless, I got it done. Um, everything went good, so that's a good thing. And uh, starting to get booked out on these jobs. Got a couple commercial jobs coming up this month, the following month, because it is March 27th today. So April starts a couple commercial contracts. We've got a couple uh, jobs booked out. Uh, for this week, so I have today's Wednesday, so I got Thursday, Friday, and then I got next week starts the booked out uh, jobs uh, for the following month, and uh, so there's going to be a lot of that. Um, yeah, had a great video came out today. Uh, if you guys aren't following them and you're trying to get. Uh, learn more about the science of exercise and hypertrophy and growing and you know uh, a lot of the scientific aspects of uh, training uh, properly structuring your training uh, RP Renaissance Periodization on YouTube great YouTube channel Dr. Mike Isratelli and Jared Feather you know they, they put a, a lot of good content on uh, the science exercising tutorials a, a lot of uh, mid-level to advanced stuff It's but it's, they do have a lot of beginner stuff too they came out with a great video today talking about uh, how to properly like cut down your gym time and still uh, get results they, there was a caveat to it obviously you know if you're exercising nothing is going to out be hard work at the end of the day and proper rest and nutrition and all that but uh just some some tips so like it there's some tips that i i didn't i'm not gonna spoil the video but uh came out today uh cutting down gym time i think was the title of the video um or something along those lines so check it out uh great video and uh i realized that i do a lot of the things they said not to do at the gym and that's why it takes me so long half the time so that was the video and uh I'm gonna cut it here so I can figure out what we're gonna talk about today. Alright, just got to the gym. Uh, on the bike, trying to warm up my knees. I'm certain I'm definitely not warm. My knees have been feeling really tender. I hit, uh, you know, certain movements, heavy movements. I like to do. So, I do have leg press. It's gonna go pretty heavy tonight. So, just wanna take you know, two minutes. Not really doing cardio, per se. Just, uh, Get everything moving, blood moving, moving around. Get this going. Obviously, still warming up and everything too. And the weights is just, you know, this is a sweet go sometimes. We're doing this, I uh, didn't get to go on that boat, but we'll be doing that tonight after the workout. So, cut it here. Here you go, Cindy. On the first workout set. No. Do you done with the arm? You know, that bench over there, you were doing with the arm. Oh, you wasn't doing the arm? No. Oh, okay. All right. All right, then I'm taking that. I thought that was you. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Right. You know, the way I need the little I'm getting legs. <laughs>
you like the form. He said, I don't, I don't like, I don't like this. I don't want to do it. No, I don't want to do a drop set on that. No, 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 I'm saying, like, like when you're doing, like, you're all good, neutral, right? Yeah. But on the way down, watch how, like, my, I flare it like here. Get my lap. Okay, yeah, there's a So I'm flared, but on the way up, I'm squeezing. And I'm getting this nice and slow, more hard. Bam! That's what it is. On that. Feel me? <laughs> Sorry. Like that little bit of weight already. <clears throat> my Latin beat. Almost fucked around both places. You almost what? I said almost fucked around both places. Because I got like 120 hours for open day. Because I'm going to go to make it a doctor. Slip on, slip on. Please, okay. Slip on, slip on. Abs and hands are done. I'm going to quads. Going to me. Going to failure. And then leg extensions, failure two. And then I'll hit my biceps after.
right there goes the legs portion. I'm gonna hit delts first before I buy some because that room is freaking packed. There's no way I'm getting around in there, so I'm gonna hit these delts where no one's at. Uh, then I'll go back, maybe hit traps, and then end with biceps. If, it, it's gonna be all dependent on ear, face, or eyes, like where everybody's at in that room. So I can just have my own space. All right, so I wasn't able to finish that workout, or I did finish the workout. I wasn't able to record the rest of that workout. Uh, got done the workout, did uh, biceps and shoulders. Um, I did not. I traps. Hmm. I. Not sure. I don't think I hit traps. No, I did not hit traps. So I didn't finish. But I, I did the 45 minutes. I did way more than 45 minutes. It was just pressed on time. And I was not able to record the rest of the session. But you guys saw the lower body portion of it, which was really the most. It's really a lower body day. The biceps and shoulders are just there to, like I've said before in other videos, just to increase the frequency and uh, sustain the biceps and shoulders while I'm cutting. Um, the quote of the day. I'm about to get into the quote of the day. Actually, I'm going to go over here to do that. I'm going to put the quote of the day and uh, or what I wanted to talk about. And that was... Um, I start to read this book. Uh, I'll cut it here. All right, if it can be thought, it can be done. Uh, there are no problems in life that cannot be solved. So I wanted to talk about positive mindset. And uh, even through the process, even when you're going through stuff, uh, understanding to keep a positive mindset, you're putting in the work. As long as you're putting in the work, you're going to get there. You're going to get to where you need to go and where you're trying to go. But your mindset is huge it's going to keep you going um and understanding that opportunities are around the corner um stuff don't stay stuff doesn't stay bad forever there's always ups and downs and that's just life it's it's not like this or like that it's like this and if you're trying to get better it's it's more like this you know if there's never really a any of that a steep incline or anything like that it's uh there's always bumps in the road and uh having a positive mindset is crucial to getting over those bumps and being positive with getting stuff done um really just the mindset really what i said the mindset understanding that team uh pain is temporary um just because you're going through it now doesn't mean that this is it. There's still more to come. There's still more to do. Keep doing the work. Put in the work. No matter how you feel, regardless of your feeling, do the work. Be consistent in the work that you're doing. And do not let your emotions get to you. Think of it logically. At the end of the day, if you're putting in this many reps, you're bound to get a hit. And by hit, I mean you're going you're gonna to find an opportunity. Um... An, an opportunity you're gonna make it could be anything sales it's a law of averages if you're making attempts if you're doing the best you can and you're trying to get better every single day eventually shit's gonna start clicking so i just want to put that out there uh if you're going through anything or if you're in the journey and it's getting really hard it's getting tough um at the end of the day you're uh as long as you're putting in the work, you're going to get through it. And there's always a light at the end of the... Well, I forget how the, go how the fucking saying goes. But the storm will pass. And you'll get to where you need to. And there's a light at the end of the tunnel. That's that's how it goes. <laughs> so I'm going to cut it here. Uh, i see you guys next video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, if you have any questions about the program, leave it in the comments. I'm glad to answer any questions or give any advice uh, when it comes to program or training. Um, I know I don't get into the in-depth stuff about the training that I'm doing. 
I do have a, not a lot of knowledge when it comes to that stuff, and I will be making videos on that in the future. But with the way the schedule's going and uh, me trying to vlog everything while running the company, um, which is my main thing, the company's my main thing. This isn't really my main thing, it's just something that I really wanted to do. Last time was put a tool out there uh, that would maybe help people uh, throughout the journey. Um, I was watching someone before on my last time doing the program and it did help me, but they never finished the program. Um, not calling them out, just saying, um, they were, they were do making really high quality videos and I understand why they weren't able to finish, uh, when you're by yourself doing that and you don't have a team behind you doing all the editing and stuff, it's, it's, you're asking to do an impossible task, um. And you're just going to drain yourself out with the nature of the program, how draining it is off the bat and you trying to get stuff done in your business and then trying to take you're taking energy away that could be going from the business into other things. Now, I'm kind of doing that, but I'm not at the same time because I'm not really editing these videos at all. I'm just cutting them up real quick. Boom, boom, done. Put it out there. If the quality is not that good, the message is going to get across at the end of the day and there's always something that I'm trying to do on the video that's going to give someone value. So, And if you see someone else doing something you want to do, usually that encourages you just that in itself. So like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions about anything program or fitness related, uh, even business related, I mean, honestly, you should be asking those questions to someone who is extremely successful. I by no means consider myself successful. Um, I feel like I'm still just starting out in business. I'm not a millionaire. Uh, that's probably the questions you should be asking someone who's a millionaire who's actually built something. Um, I've built something, but it's not at that level. Um, if it's power washing advice, I could definitely give you some pointers on that because I do have experience in the power washing side of business. Um, yeah, but if you guys have any comments or questions, comment, and I'll do my best to answer any questions. All right, guys. See you.